If you notice on this cam gear here, these teeth are just a little bit off center. So it will only fit one way onto the cam. Yeah, she needs a good cleaning. It was even pretty dirty on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the condenser and the points and give her a good cleaning, put it back in. And there's a tiny little cotter pin right there. Save this screw. And before I move on, I'm gonna put this in the new one so I know where it's supposed to go. All right, let me go clean this real good. Okay, let me show you the old points for comparison. different style, I guess. See if I can get the screw started before I slip it over the post. Tighten that screw. Now we can insert these little screws. I'll try to use my fancy screw holder. Well, I got a little off center, but that'll work. that cam all the way out to the end put your screw in and then let it go back and then it holds on to it aftermarket parts sometimes don't fit quite right do they See right there, the connector for this wire is not supposed to be touching any of this metal over here, so we need to bend that up out of the way a little bit. That ought to do it. In the kit, they provided this style of cotter key, 
but I think I'm actually gonna use the old one. A little bit easier to deal with. Let's flip it down over the post like that, like that. Okay. Okay. Now we got to adjust the points. See how there's four lobes. I just need to line one of those lobes with the rocker arm of the point assembly right here. So the points gap is supposed to be 15 thousandths. And just a piece of trivia, the later uh, N series tractors, the eight ends with the side mount distributor, the factory specs are 25 thousandths for the same gap. I'm just making these not quite snug. Okay, can you see the gap in there now? Right there. That's, that's a little loose. So if you rotate the screw just a hair counterclockwise, that closes the gap. Ooh, that feels like a good 15 right there. Okay, let me tighten these screws all the way. Let's see what we get. All right, we still have our gap, still feels really good. Now, if we spin the drive shaft, the points should open and close. I want to make sure and get this right so everything's tight because we don't want to get this back on the tractor and have to pull it back off again. So double check. All right, good. I'm gonna put just a little dab of grease on the cam. Got a new gasket on the back here. Time to reinstall it. It came with a new gasket, so I might as well use that. This goes on top of the distributor and distributor cap, and then the coil goes on top of that. Thank you. 